Here I am with a bunch of guitarists and bass players, all in the room. Even two down there as well. Uh, so people, we've done some limb limbering kind of exercises, if you like, you know, before you start playing. Um, what I'd like to know is on the handout, how many of you guys can read this tab? How many of you make sense to you? Yeah? The majority? Yeah, cool. Um, it's like a foreign language to me. Is that? Yeah. There you go. Uh, something I've not, not used at all, personally. Um, however, you know, I appreciate most of you guys will learn in a particular way. Uh, what I'd like you to do is to give me a few ideas. First of all, if somebody can play the majority of what we've got on here, uh, just to give us a demonstration. Then what I'd like you guys to do is just show me the type of thing you would normally do to warm up uh, on the instrumentation. The idea of filming this as, as you do it is a case of knowledge sharing, is for all of you to sort of share with each other some good practice. Now the majority of you guys may not get to play together in the same band, you know, particularly if it's just one guitarist in each band, one bass player or whatever. Um, the, similar with drummers, but if there's more than one guitarist in each band, then perhaps you will. Um, already we've got quite a few bands with two guitarists. Uh, from the uh, guitar and bass exercises, how many of you guys know uh, some scales that perhaps you incorporate? You know? Yeah, uh, what, what type of scales do you use then? Any idea? Uh, uh, chromatics, uh, majors, minors. Great, excellent. What about you, Finn? Same. Same sort of thing, yeah? Cool, brilliant. I've got a lot more literature I can give out with regard to that, but what I'm looking to be able to do is to, as I say, pass on some decent knowledge for you guys to be able to empower each other with something. Oh, wow, I've not done that before. Let's give that a try. Um, perhaps sort of test each other. Um, I think with regard to looking at the, uh, uh, probably some of the best way of learning, particularly if in the same kind of bands, is in your vested interest to try and get the best musicians that we have on the course to be able to give each other a helping hand. As I say, you may find that you're in bands together in the second year. Um, so you want to be able to get that best sort of capability. Um, so can we have uh, our first individual, perhaps someone on bass? Any <coughs> bass players among you, or are you all guitarists? Finn's a bassist. Finn, oh, I think. Jacket. Yeah, yeah. The jacket comes off. I'm cool. liking that. So, Finn, uh, we've got a bass there, and uh, just push the jack into the cab. <coughs> So uh, if you could sort of show us the type of thing that you would normally do to, to warm up, you know, when you get the instrument on. Great, so the sort of technique where you're, again, going up and down the, the fretboard, use of scales, yeah. And again, probably similar to the drummers, the video that I just took, you know, starting slowly, building up speed. I notice you're playing with your fingers there as well, which is great. Uh, you're holding it very, very well as well from a uh, point of view, you know, with your thumb right at the back of the neck there, you've got the full stretch and range with your, with your fingers on the fretboard, which is great, yeah. Cool, excellent. Um, but again, I mean, from being a guitarist as well, you know your way around the, the instrument, with regard to, do you incorporate chords into your playing and all sorts of stuff, yeah? yeah? Great, awesome. Give them a round of applause, thank you. <laughs> Any other bass players? Okay, let's move on to guitar. Uh, so, uh, yeah, just pull the jack out. Uh, guitar players, uh, I've got a combination of acoustic and electric. Uh, so if one of you guys perhaps how do you feel confident enough to perhaps read cool. some of this tab? Any of you guys? Callum? Oh, you would ask something else? Oh, no, it's about the tab. Yeah. Go on, Go on Callum. What do you want to use, acoustic or electric? Or?
disagree. Reaching for a plexus. Go on, get in there. I carry back to Excellent. Uh, the next thing I want to build up is, is to, and Lewis will give an example of finger picking techniques. It is, yeah. So it's the sort of thing, yeah, I mean, either you can read the, the tab or it's the sort of thing, technique that you can build up and, again, go slow, faster, you know, kind of build up speed and uh, uh, that kind of agility with the, the fingers will just Im improve as you do it. Um, so, uh, yeah, give Callum a round of applause. Thank you. Thanks for giving that, uh, that first demonstration. Uh, right, can we have someone else, either on acoustic or electric, uh, just showing us their sort of thing they would warm up with? Yeah, Guillaume. The moment it's on quite a clean sound. Oh, is that for the fans? Oh, uh, just push the jack in. There you go. Almost like the sort of hammering on, yeah, kind yeah. of, yeah, yeah. You can do of, um, the point, whatever this thing is called on my English. Index finger? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can do like that, you can do like that, like that, and then you can put your middle finger and then do like this, and you can switch around. You can never do it with a finger, which is hard. really hard. Mm. Um, yeah, um, and then you can do like, um, uh, trying to play and switch. Mm. Or the as fast as you can to like, get the dexterity or synchronization. Cool, <laughs> excellent. So again, uh, do you how, how long do you spend doing that before you start playing? Is that uh, a few minutes of your time? Just working through? It depends on the occasion. If I'm home on my I can have the time. I usually spend like five, ten minutes mm. going at it. Um, if I want to like really put my mind into it, but say if I'm bored, just play a couple of riffs here and there. Great. That I, I know it like it emphasizes certain well a certain aspect of my playing. Mm. And yeah, I'm ready. Great, awesome. Give him a round of applause, thank you. Uh, okay. Lewis. Yes. Just gonna single you out because I've seen you do some finger picking before. Yeah. Could you uh, perhaps on the acoustic just yeah. give us a little demo of um, how you go about it?
So you're doing a sort of a brush down technique with regard to the thumb and then yeah. are you using all your fingers to, to pick up with or is it the first three? Uh, yeah, it's more... Uh, you can do the um, wrist like that to get the fullest out. Yeah, yeah. He's just so good. Mm. Nice flow about it though as well. Yeah. Uh, again, getting that is kind of arpeggiated if you like, just trying to get that rhythmical flow correct with it. Do you find that you sort of try techniques where you start something slower and build yeah. up speed, that yeah. sort of thing? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Really nice. I like that. Uh, how would you normally kind of warm up? Normally I do like finger tapping, just because you're yeah. using both hands and it's like, it's just, I don't know, that's normally what I do. Mm. How would you do that on the instrument? Oh, instru I'll do it on the electric. Yeah, yeah. Just just show us that. Oh, nice. Can we get that on film? I'm sort of, yeah, move oh. forward a bit more. Nice. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, enjoy that. Give yeah. a round of applause. Yeah. Um, so again, with, with that type of thing, you know, the, the use of yeah. loop pedals as well, you know, you can come up with some really, really nice uh, yeah. textural pieces with arpeggio, with kind of volume swells or whatever it might be. Um, cool, it's great. Anybody else happy to give some sort of demonstration with regard to either how they warm up or someone we've not had just yet? And then we'll have Callum again. Anyone else? With a Come on, mate. You don't need to warm up. You don't warm up. <laughs> uh, I mean, one thing I noticed, Will, when in the very first kind of pod sessions, you were doing some quite extraordinary scales incorporating into your solo work. Um, they weren't anything that you know was kind of traditional. Very much kind of Eastern. Uh, scales and all sorts of things. I mean, wh where have you got that, that info from? Really? Yeah? Excellent. Some really good stuff there. So you've incorporated that into your, your style then and uh, variety of keys that you're playing in that they fit. Yeah. Cool. Would you mind giving us a demo of maybe one of them? Go on. <laughs> Go on. I'm really curious. Marcus, one of the former tutors here, was uh, or is a guitar virtuoso, and uh, again, he's kind of studied and done pieces of music which have got you know very Eastern flavour. A load of the scales, you know, works so so well. So that's lovely already, you're demonstrating, you know, the sliding up, sliding off, yeah? That's, that's really nice, yeah, yeah. But isn't, you know, from, from a musician's point of view though, guys, isn't it something that if you know exactly what you're doing and it's too sort of preordained, doesn't it make it a bit boring? You know, if it's completely free-spirited and you, you're kind of not really sure what you're doing, but you're making a great sound and it's great fun to do, surely that, you know, it's more kind of spontaneous. That's how making music should be. Great, give them a round of applause. Love that. <laughs> Anyone else with their warm-up stuff? Uh, I know, a reggae rhythm. I don't really use that to warm up though, do you know what I mean? Oh, do you? Okay. What do you use to warm up? I don't really warm up. Oh, oh you don't? Okay. We even need questions. Uh, so, uh, Callum then, if no one else is, is coming to the front. Um, Jack, I've not heard you playing guitar. Do you play electric or acoustic with the band? Or? I just play electric. Electric, yeah. Clean sound, yeah? Just, just like really simple chords. Rhythm so stuff, just yeah. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Great. Uh, Callum, would you like to finish this uh, illustrious event? What's he going to do? What's he doing? Oh, a bit of acoustic. <laughs> a 
I've always liked the pretender. <laughs> So like in this. <laughs> cool, excellent. Give a big hand. Uh, I've heard uh, Layla's not here today, but I've heard her playing Blackbird as well by the Beatles. Another, another real classic. Sarah you, know, can play it. you can play it, Sarah. Come on then, let's let's hear. Yeah, let's hear it. Again, you you guys you guys are always going to stumble across sort of something you want to work out, something that you're influenced by, which acts in itself as a warm up. Yeah. Thank you. How many, um, how many of you guys believe in the, um, that phenomenon called muscle memory? Yeah. I think you've just demonstrated it then. It's something you've not played for a while, and then suddenly it's like, oh, yeah, you get the instrument there in your hand, you're ready to play it, and it just flows, doesn't it? Yeah, brilliant. OK, well, thank you very much, guys. Uh, once again, what I want to be able to do is, is run some workshops where I get you guys together, sharing a few different techniques. I uh, want to move on to textural stuff uh, with regards to uh, what you can do on the guitar. Get you in the shot as well, Tom. Uh, again, the guitar in itself, you know, such a wide amount of, of options that, that you could look at with regards to that. Everything from the acoustic finger picking right the way up to some of the techniques that you've demonstrated today. But some of the tones and textures you could get using a bank of effects as well. You know, there's a lot of kind of stuff out there that we could look at. And I, I want you guys to perhaps come up with a few things and say, OK, yeah, this is something I've seen recently, I've been influenced by. Um, either, you know, looking to set yourself a challenge, how do you play it, or pass that on to one of the other guys to perhaps learn and improve their overall playing. Definitely. Um, I'm sure most people would probably like to play Stairway to Heaven or Blackbird, as we've just had demonstrated there. Or again, the finger tapping uh, techniques as well that, that you've shown as well, Lewis. I mean, I've, I've not heard you do that before. Very impressed. So write something around that that you can showcase that, yeah? Uh, again, the Eastern stuff, all the stuff that Guillermo was showing as well, the bass stuff that Finn demonstrated earlier. Some great stuff out there. Thank you. Well done. You did.